Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. In this episode, I'd like to talk to you about running Psycho in live mode. So by default, out of the box, Sitecore comes in what's called publishing mode, meaning when you log into the, your Sitecore instance and make a change for that change to become available on the live site, you have to run a publish process. Now that's how things should work on a testing environment, perhaps the user acceptance environment, of course the production environment. However, when we develop custom site solutions uh, for Sitecore on our local instances, that's not an ideal scenario because having to publish and clear the site cache and go through that whole manual process every time you need to make a single small change for development, which we do a lot, adds up and it takes a lot of time. So Sitecore created a way for us to avoid having to go through that publishing process and that's what's called running Sitecore in live mode. By default, when you log into the Sitecore client editing tools and start editing content, these, are, these changes are made in what's called the master database, which is the default name for the content authoring database. When those changes are ready to go live, the publishing process takes them from the master database and publishes them to the web database, or which is the default name for the content delivery database. Running Sitecore in live mode meaning pointing the delivery website instead of the delivery database, pointing it to the master database, the authoring database. So this way when we log into Sitecore and make a change as soon as we save it, it's going to be available on the website immediately, which avoids having us to run the uh, publish process and saves us a lot of time as developers. So let's take a look at how we can set that up. So what I have here is a default Sitecore instance 8.1. Now this is the home page that's currently running on it. I have some personalization rules enabled here so that's why the, the content is missing or A-B testing rules. So let's go ahead and make sure that this is still running in publishing mode. Let's go ahead and modify the type, uh, title. It's like our experience platform publishing mode. Now I hit save, control S, let's refresh the website and we don't see that change. Now let's go ahead and trigger publish. We'll, we'll do the smart publish, it only take a second and there it is. Now when we refresh our homepage we should see the updated title and here it is. Publishing mode. Now let's go ahead and switch Sitecore to run in live mode. For that I'll use uh, Sublime. Now remember that Sitecore 8.1 now has the Sitecore configuration section extracted from web.config file. By default, version 8 and below had the Sitecore section inside the web.config file. Um, in your custom solutions, of course, you, what you would want to do is create a patch file with your custom solution definition. And this is where you'd want to make the change I'm going to make right now. Uh, for the sake of the demo, what I'll do is I'll make it directly in the sitecore.config, which is the new name for the configuration file, which contains the default sitecore section. However, if you're working with sitecore 8 and below, um, it's definitely not recommended to make changes directly to the webconfig file. But for the sake of testing, that's where you'd want to do that um, edit to the website definition. So let's go ahead and open the new configuration file since we're in 8.1. Here's our demo website. Let's go ahead and navigate to our sitecore.config and let's look for the site section. And there it is. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and modify the default website site definition. That's the one that comes with sitecore by default. Now what we're looking for is the database attribute. And as you can see right now, it's pointing to the delivery database called web. So all we have to do is go ahead and switch this over to master. So now when we reload our page, the page, the content that's displayed on the page will be loaded from the master database. So let's go ahead and do that. Now 
as you um, already know, changes to any configuration file um, in the directory or the binary folder triggers the um, app pull reset. So the following um, page reload will take a little bit of time. All right, looks like uh, it reloaded successfully. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and change this title to live mode. So in theory, once I hit save and refresh the page, we should, we should see that new title. So I hit save, let's go back to our page. And there it is. So we didn't have to publish, we didn't have to clear any cache. Of course, there's, you know, outside of cache configuration on the renderings. But the main point is that we didn't have to run the publish. However, once we saved it, the change was available on the website immediately. Now, here's another trick um, about accessing content directly from the master database. Now, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and revert this change and we'll switch Sitecore to run back in the publishing mode. And I'll show you a trick of using sc underscore query string, uh, sc underscore database query string to uh, uh, trigger Sitecore to force Sitecore to pull content from the master database instead of the web database. So now as you can see we're back to our publishing mode because that's the title that's currently in the web database. The title in the master database is live mode title. So what I'll do here is append a query string underscore database equals master. And as long as you're logged in as a user that has read access to the item uh, in that database, we should see the content being pulled from the specified database. And there it is. So as you can see, the title got updated back to the live mode. So keep that in mind. So we got a couple of tips here. Uh, running Sitecore in live mode, which saves you time as a developer. And uh, if occasionally, let's say on a server environment, you need to uh, do some checks and balances to double check yourself um, against the master database, go ahead and log in as a user that has read access to the content item um, you're viewing and simply use the sc underscore database um, with the name of the database in the query string to temporarily switch uh, to that database and pull content from there. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, I'm looking forward to your comments. Uh, if you liked it, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel comment to on the video below like it for more tips like this uh, make sure to check out cmsbestpractices.com and again my name is Vasily Fomichev and I'm a Sitecore Technology MVP and I'll see you next Friday over and out